Candiduria, Risk Factors, Symptoms, and Treatment Candiduria refers to the presence of candida organisms in the urine in quantities of at least 10 to the power of 5 per milliliter, or 100 times 10 to the power of 6 per liter. Candiduria can affect different sites of the urinary tract and can be associated with several risk factors. Most patients with candiduria are asymptomatic. Asymptomatic candiduria often results from a combination of factors including comorbid illness, diabetes mellitus or old age, antibiotics that eradicate the endogenous flora, allowing for the overgrowth of candida organisms and catheter use. The presence of a Foley catheter may prompt candida colonization of the lower urinary tract due to candida colonization either on the external or the internal surface of the catheter. Subsequent invasion of the bladder may occur, also known as cystitis. Resolution of colonization can often be attained by removal of the catheter. Alternatively, patients may suffer from symptomatic lower urinary tract infection, candida cystitis. Symptoms of candida cystitis are suprapubic pain and dysuria, plus changes in urination frequency and urgency. Candida cystitis can be treated with fluconazole orally. Amphotericin B deoxycholate bladder irrigation, or IV, or flucytosine orally. Patients may also suffer from the upper urinary tract, candida pyelonephritis. It results most commonly from ascending infection from the lower urinary tract, but on rare occasions may be caused by hematogenous seeding of the kidney. Symptoms of candida pyelonephritis may be fever and costovertebral angle tenderness. Infection at this site has multiple risk factors, including the presence of stents or other indwelling devices, immunosuppressive agents, diabetes mellitus, age, and stasis of urine due to urinary tract obstruction, possibly from fungus balls. Treatment of candida pyelonephritis requires the surgical removal of the obstruction and medical intervention with fluconazole IV or orally, or amphotericin B locally or IV. Renal candidiasis may result from candidemia or disseminated candidiasis. This infection often presents with sepsis, hemodynamic instability, and renal insufficiency. Renal candidiasis can be treated with fluconazole or amphotericin B. Urinary candidiasis rarely progresses to candidemia unless there is a mitigating circumstance such as urinary obstruction. Treatment stratification based on the site of infection is necessary for optimal management.